Hey guys, it's me, Jazz. Welcome back to another episode of God Only Knows What's Going to Happen Tonight. As you can see, my sweatshirt that I have on says, Sorry, I can't. I have plans with my dog. So the beagle was very upset that I had to ruin our plan so that I could bring you this. Bum, 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 bum. Timu Hall. This is only one of many, as I've mentioned. I have like such an array of things. I was going to try to kind of go, go through and like categorize them. But I thought, what's the fun in that? Then we kind of know what to expect and you know how that goes. So I'm going to try to kind of mix it up a little bit just to keep everybody, you know, on the edge of your seat. Hmm. First off, before we get started, this is Thanksgiving Eve. So what are we all thankful for? Me personally, every day above ground is a good day. So let's be thankful for that. Other than that, I am thankful for my beautiful daughter, my lovely husband, you know, my, my family in general, my, of course, my YouTube family. I have so many friends on YouTube, and I love and adore each and every one of them, and I want to make more friends, so here we are. But back to what we're thankful about, I'm thankful that I only have to make a couple side dishes for tomorrow. We're going to go over by the kid's house, my daughter and her fiance and the grandkids. So I'm excited to spend Thanksgiving with them. And let me tell you, I'm about to throw down when it comes to the food. I'm not even so geared up about turkey, but I love all the sides. Just between you and me, the sweet potatoes with the little marshmallows on them, with the brown sugar, cinnamon, little pumpkin pie seasoning. Mwah. That's like my favorite. And the stuffing, oh, I love stuffing. I'm gonna be stuffed, so I better wear some big comfy clothes. But again, here I go, getting sidetracked as usual. What we're thankful for. I am so thankful to be a grandma. I love my grandkids more than anything. So I don't know if anybody knows, I don't know if I mentioned it in another video, but I have one most adorable in the world, one-year-old little grandson, and then I was blessed to have three bonus grandchildren. So I have two boys and two girls. They range in age from 17 to 11 to soon to be nine and then the one-year-old. And the 11-year-old and the one-year-old share the same birthday and it's just the cutest thing. Like they have such a bond and forever sharing the same birthday, it, it's just so precious. So I'm really thankful to be a grandma. Like it's been my dream. Like when I was a little girl, I was already planning my wedding. Once I was married, I was already planning my baby names. I already knew I was gonna have a girl. I still remember to this day being in, you know, going through all your checkups throughout being pregnant. I was like, I don't need ultrasounds or anything. I know I'm gonna have a girl. And my husband's like, no, we're having a boy. Of course, they did the ultrasound, and she's like, do you want to know? I was like, I already know. And my husband's like, yeah, yeah. A girl. I knew from the time I was little I was going to have a baby girl. So now she's all grown up, has a baby of her own, has three beautiful bonus children. So, yeah, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my family and all the time I get to spend with them and thankful obviously for a roof over my head, for the good Lord above, friends like you who 
like to hang out with me and see what I'm doing. So I'm all about it. So I hope all you guys are going to have some awesome food and hang out with friends and family and eat. Root for your favorite football team if they're playing tomorrow. Like I said, I'm in Wisconsin, so go Pack Go. Yeah, they're not doing that great this year, but we still hold out hope. So enough of me rambling. I'm going to get going in what's inside. I know the Timu bags are white now, but like I told you, this girl's been having them stockpiled for a while. So let's get at it. First thing we have, how adorbs is this? It's a little thermal coffee cup. It's so cute. Perfect size. The reason my car, oh yeah, it is. This is what I use as my coffee cup. Again, I had to kind of get my stickers on here. We have, you got this, because I need the motivation in the morning. Be kind. You don't have to remind me of that. But in case I got to flash it at somebody who's acting up, hmm, you never know. And of course, good vibes only, peace and love. At any rate, this is my normal coffee cup because I like my coffee to stay hot. Well, how perfect is this? Now I don't have to drink my coffee out of this giant mug. I have this cute little lavender one and I love lavender. So I'm very psyched about this. Next thing we got, and I know so many of you are gonna be super jealous. It is a corn plane. What's a corn plane, you ask? Let me show you. This is a handy dandy little gadget that when you have corn on the cob, you're gonna put your ear of corn in there and it's got a little serrated edge and the directions are right on the back. So I don't have anything to kind of show you how it will roar. I use my fingers. So the corn's gonna go in there and then this is gonna slide on down and kind of shuck all the corn into a nice little pile on your plate. Yeah. Like I said, the, these gadgets that you find on Timu, how in the world have we lived our entire life without these? I, I just, I can't say it enough. Next thing, no household can be without a lint brush. How amazing is this lint brush? It has a nice handle, rolls perfectly. It's a good size and it's sticky, so course that's gonna work we had to talk the other night about my hands like my hands ache especially when it gets cold out Wisconsin winters get really cold my fingers will actually lock up I guess they call it like trigger finger but it'll happen what like not only my index but pick a finger it's like whatever my hands get cold my fingers will start to lock up I don't have any dexterity or strength left in my hands anymore. So I needed this bad boy. My husband's not around and I gotta open something. Forget about it. Move on to the next thing. Grab something that I can cut the package open. But not to fret because now I got this handy dandy jar lid opener. Love the color. And it's gonna be a real lifesaver, let me tell you that. Now you guys, I know we went through this in the other video. I even admitted to you might see me when you're driving down the street with my basket of sandwiches I'm gonna make with all the sandwich molds and cutters I bought. Let's add another to the collection. 
It's gonna be a precious little dino sandwich. Who on earth wouldn't want a cute little adorable dino sandwich? I, for one, would love it. I know everybody and their grandma and their auntie and their Uncle Bob all have one of these, but this is another thing. Where has it been all my life? This little guy, this little funnel is, not only is it little, we already know how I feel about the little things, it's bubblegum pink. Do I need to say any more about that? And it's silicone and just folds on up and throw it in your picnic basket. Keep it in your utensil drawer. Doesn't get any easier than that. I don't only buy little gadgets and things of that nature. I also... Dun, 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 dun. Buy shoes. How cute are these? They're like Converse knockoffs. Super cute. Super sturdy. You always need a pair of white kicks, 100%. Doesn't matter if it's summer, winter, or fall. I love the fact that they have the red and the blue lining on them. Because when they're just solid white, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of white shoes. But these are super cute because of that little bit of colored lining on there. It kind of just makes them pop a little bit. And we all know that the Timu stuff has weird stuff written on it. So this, I'm not even going to try to say it. But yeah, it says that on the heel. I'm okay with that. You know what we talked about too? I'm 55 plus years old. Do I care what's written on the back of my shoe? No, not at all. But speaking of shoes, huh. we already know I'm a big fan of lavender. And I love, love Crocs. Imagine when I saw these bubble slides. Are these the cutest things you've ever seen, like in your whole life? They're even bubbly on the bottom. And they're lavender. Too cute. I'm a fan. The color is just so precious, and I love them so much that I had to also get the sandal slides in the bubble shoes. Who comes up with these things? Bubble slides and bubble sandals? These are life-changing events, people. Uh, let's talk about what is going on with my hair. <sighs> okay, I guess it's going to be what it's going to be. But these are just the cutest things ever. My daughter's like, Mom, what? I was like, don't be hating. I'd be letting the haters be my motivators. So we'll just move on. You guys are in a real in for a real treat tonight. Because not only do I buy these crazy bubble shoes, apparently I didn't have any hats. So I thought to myself, self, scroll down the black hole of Timu and look for some hats. Summer was upon us. You know, I thought it was going to be at, laying at the beach every day. But the furthest I got to, closest I got to the beach is going out in the backyard. 
but I do have all the hats in case I do one day end up at the beach. I'm going to model each and every one of them just for you. First up, this is when you're going to be like real bougie. You're trying to kind of hide from the paparazzi. Don't even want anybody really knowing it's you under there. You put this bad boy on. Imagine this with some shades on. And I bought sunglasses too. Don't, don't think I didn't. I just don't know where they're at in these bags right now. Not only is this a fun, completely hideaway hat, you can also be like, bam, flip the lid of it up. And if that wasn't enough, watch this. It's a whole different hat. Now I look like I'm ready to go on some kind of bougie kind of safari. Maybe I'm going on some kind of bougie safari party. And if I can't see, I can just flip the lid of it up. And I spy with my little eye. So yeah, that's number one of the crazy hat collection. I've never worn hats really in my entire life. But suddenly, I felt I needed all the hats. It's kind of like the little <laughs> reclosable bags. It just got to be a whole thing. All right. Ready or not, I guess I really thought I was going on a safari. In case it's windy out, I'm strapped in. In case you got to drag me around and lead me, I reckon. This is cute, though. It's, like, waterproof. I actually really do like this hat. I think it's fun. I could work this with like some cute army green pants or army green shorts, some flip flops. I can see it happening. Last but not least, oh Lord. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. I just don't know if you're ready for this. How you doing? Bam, it's got a big bow on it. Again, you can bend it, flip it. Maybe you just wanna completely look ridiculous and to wear it like this. So yeah. Apparently I have hats now. It's a thing. So that was fun. Next thing we got. How cute are these? It's a little avocado and a little orange sponge for in the kitchen. Might make me excited to clean up and wipe things down just because they're cute. Squishy, spongy. At least my kitchen's going to look cute. Speaking of the issues with my hands, I got this bad boy. This, you push the button. You got bags you're carrying in. Hook them on there. This goes down. Now you can carry however many bags you can fit on here. Me, jeez oh Louise, me personally, I go, say, grocery shopping. I come home, and I have them, like, bam, 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 like, all up my arm, and I'm trying to, like, navigate, you know, in my little dollhouse. It's kind of like trying to get through a maze, and I got 800 bags hanging from my arms. So hopefully, this is going to help. 
big fan of that. Next thing we got is this super cute little pink makeup bag. You can actually put, you know, whatever you want in there. But it has like a cute print on there. I don't think it actually, it's just like a bunch of letters. I don't think it really says anything. But it even has like a little mirror attached. And little pouches. You can put your like your makeup brushes in there. It's a good amount of room in there. I'm always like looking for places to put things. We had this talk yesterday about me trying to actually be organized. I don't even want to pull this out because you guys are really going to think I really got something going on where you might have to get me some help. I'm hoping it's the last one. Another sandwich cutter. <laughs> Who am I making all these sandwiches for? Again, times are rough. Might have to start busting out some little sandwiches, selling them on the street corner. Like I said, if you drive by and you see me, mind your business. I am so excited about this little gadget. We are looking at the fake eyelashes I had bought in a previous haul. This little gizmo, you put, this is how bad my hands are. I can't even like open this right now. At any rate, the eyelash will go on there and then you can just, bam, set it on there perfectly. Otherwise, I'm trying to put on, that's why I don't wear them that often. I'm trying to put eyelashes on. I'm like this in the bathroom, like trying to be some kind of contortionist, which in my old age, I'm clearly not. I got like a tweezers holding one end. I'm trying to hold the other end with like the tip of a little nail scissors. So I'm hoping this is going to make my life much easier. I'll have to let you all know about that. But I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Since we're talking about makeup, got me some more mascara. This is Max Fine Mascara Volume Lengthening 5D. I bought this before and I really like it. And you know why I like it? Because it has that fat teddy bear brush. This is the ticket right here. That teddy bear brush, that big, thick teddy bear brush, gets some lashes like, you know. I also got, I'm pretty sure this is like a little baby eye palette. And it sure is. And all the colors I love, all shades of grays and like silveries and some blacks. I am a big fan of these. So you have some kind of charcoal, black, white, different shades of silver. This one in the middle is kind of like a these two, kind of like a shimmery taupe and like more of a just regular taupe. Let's give these guys a little swatch. I don't know if I'll wear like these real shimmery ones, but the colors are super nice. Very nice. And again, those are like the colors that I like. I mean, I wear the browns and stuff too, but I just, I like the, the gray I think goes good with my blue eyes. My eyes, I don't know if you can tell in here, but they're really blue. So the gray helps kind of make them pop. I have a couple little 
cleaning type deals. This one, I guess you could use that to like clean the rims like around like the get in like the toilet bowl. But the reason I bought this is I want to get like in the crevices of like the windows. Like when I open and close the windows, like it gets leaves blow in there and God knows what else. So I thought this would be perfect to get in that area. Same as this. This will get in those crevices because it's narrow. And you can just... Could be doing a lot of cleaning. We'll see. Speaking of cleaning, do y'all wear those little earbuds? I don't know what they call them. I call them like earbuds, whatever. This is a little gadget used to clean those. Let's take a look, shall we? It's a little like handy dandy pen. Makes perfect sense to me. Throw that in your purse, your backpack, whatever you tend to carry. Got like a little fuzzy side so you can get in there and clean. And it's got kind of like a little pick end. Not that anybody's ears are like gross. I would hope not. But they just get dirty. So you gotta get in there and clean those up. Sorry about that. Bentley was having a little bit of a meltdown. Next thing we got, I don't know about you guys, but if you're ironing certain things, I get worried about, is the iron too hot for it? What if it leaves like some kind of a stain? So if I get nervous, I'll put like a thin, the thinnest towel I can find on there. Well, I don't have to worry about that no more because I got the ironing protective cloth. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, look at the size of that. Just lay that down over whatever you're ironing and it's gonna protect it from the heat of the iron and you don't have to worry anymore like I would about, do I have the iron set too high? Sometimes, most times I feel like it's set too low because I'm like, why is this not even getting the wrinkles out? I don't like to iron. I don't think anybody does. So yeah, I got that. I feel like it's going to come in handy. Do, 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 do. I've seen everybody getting these, so of course I had to get at least one. These are the little handy dandy things you put on the end of like tubes of, say, toothpaste or hand lotion, what have you. This is a little bear. So the tube will come out of its little mouth right here and it'll make your, what say toothpaste, it'll make the toothpaste last longer because you're literally using all of the toothpaste instead of when you can't squeeze it anymore with your hand and there's still probably quite a bit in there. This little guy's going to save the day and you'll appreciate him and him's real cute. Let's look at him again. He's very cute. I feel like we should have a name for him. I don't know. We'll have to come up with something. All right. Oh boy. Here's the first pair of glasses. Now I got sunglasses and I also got like blue blackers because I work on the computer all day. This is a pair of blue blackers. But let me just show you first before I show you the glasses. They come in this really nice case. Comes with a little cleaning cloth. Like this case alone is probably worth what I spent for them, which I think I only spent maybe less than $4. I'm going to put them on and we're going to see what we think. Hi, could I help you? You need to speak with a manager? Well, you'll have to go through me. 
they did what? They said, huh? I don't even work here. I just got my cute glasses on and I'm just roaming around, talking to randoms. But yeah, these are really cute. They have a really light, like, I don't know, like, it's inside the frame. It's like a brown, kind of maybe taupey kind of color. I'm a fan, though. I might leave these on. These are super cute. Have to make sure my hair isn't looking all wild. Oh my gosh, we have a big box item in here. Make sure your feet are nice and soft and smooth. That's all I'm going to say about that. But this, if they're not, get you one of these. Hopefully I can get it out of here without getting pieces everywhere. Oh my goodness. Of course, it's one of these kind of chargers. And this is actually very nice looking. Let me take it out of the little bag. Look at how nice that is. Like styling and profiling, fixing them crusty feet up at home. Oh, I thought maybe it would have some juice in there. Nope. But there's the on off button. So what this is gonna do is like spin a thousand miles an hour and you just rub it like on the bottoms of your feet, on your heels, wherever you have like dry skin that needs to go. This is really cute though. It's like a cream color with the gold bling bling looking on the side. And you get an extra roll of like th that stuff. So, and I think that was like 12 bucks, if even that. Like I said, I was gonna like try to figure out prices and everything for you guys, but the prices, they, they change so much. So, and like I said, more than likely, you'll end up getting stuff cheaper than what I got it for. But you guys know that Timu does price adjustments. Don't let that get past you. Don't don't do it because there's a lot of price adjustments to be had on things. And I believe I think you have like 30 days. So always go into your orders and check your orders and you'll see a little box in the drop down menu that says price adjustment sometimes they'll just automatically give them to you but other times you got to double check so yeah don't miss that train next thing we got and i know so many of you out there got this i'm trying to get it open because you're gonna know what it is it is the bag sealer. Say you got a bag of Doritos. Normally you just put a clip on them. Well, the point is this, you toss a couple batteries in there. You put the bag in there. I don't have a bag handy here, so I'd show you. And you put that on there and you just go across and it reseals the bag like it was brand new and fresh. So I'm real curious to see if this actually works or not. I have, oh geez, my glasses case fell. I only have two more things in here and then I have a big item sitting here over, sitting on the side here to show you guys. So the next thing I got is this nice little, I don't know what this material is called. There's a name for it. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's a little stainless straws. Like a wide open one for if you drink boba tea. Angled one. 
And there was another one in here. I don't know what happened to it. And then you get the cleaner. I just love them because I love that light purple color. And I love purple. I, I like purple in general. So that's cool. Then I saw these. It's a whole bag of plastic glitter straws. How can you go wrong with those? And what's even nicer is they're all individually wrapped. So you have yellow, red, green, purple. Oh, I even saw, yeah, clear ones. Come on. Clear and blue. These are super cute and they're real sturdy and nice. I don't know how many are in here. I don't know why it wouldn't say. But yeah, it's, it's a whole entire bag full. So I'm like set on straws for a while. I guess I can take these glasses off. Um, I have one last thing to show you before we wrap it up here. Oh no, who am I kidding? One last thing to show you. I'm getting old and senile, so sometimes I don't know what's going on. But I have more than one thing. I was trying to like wrap everything up, tell you my little end story, but no, we still have more things. So just you sit and wait. Don't leave now, cause you'll miss out. I'm gonna give you a showstopper right now. Let's get this out of the way. I saw this. Don't ask me why, but it caught my eye. Now this Timu bag is just in the way. I had to have it. It is this giant backpack. I seen it and was immediately obsessed with it for some ungodly reason. And I don't, again, we know the Timu stuff has all these weird sayings and names and whatever. This says D-U-A-N-G. Whatever that means. And then on the side it says, go. I don't care. I just think, how cute is that? It has so much room in there. I could probably pack one of the beagles in here and told them about. I'm gonna see how this opens so we can see what kind of storage we're talking about. And how cool is that? The inside of it is this awesome orange. This thing is huge. Look at all the room in there. So yeah, you can, Bentley's standing right down here and he's like, oh God, please don't let her put me in there to show you that I can fit. No, I won't, buddy. And you can open the top, because the top unzippers too, and there's a whole nother secret compartment in there. Plus it has a little zipper compartment. I just thought this backpack, tote bag, whatever, the color jumped out at me. I loved that it was orange on the inside. And it's huge and strappy and it's a backpack. How awesome is that? Let's show you the other side. I'm a huge fan of this. I don't know what I need to haul that's going to be going in there. Maybe I can haul all my hats and my sandwich cutters and my reusable bags. Always thinking. I saw this and had to get it for my grandson. How flippin' cute is this? It's a little dinosaur 
but it's a little truck, a little dump truck, and it has sand toys. The little watering thing, two little sand molds. He loves dinosaurs. And it says wild dinos. He can play with this in the house or once the weather is nice again and he can be in a sandbox. He's got his sand toys. I just thought this was the cutest thing. And it's it's not too small and it's not too big. It's like the right size for his little hands because he's just a little peanut. Next thing we got, these are awesome because not only is it like a cute little crossbody deal, but it also has the strap so you can just, you know, or carry it, you know, like that and hang on to it. But it has not one. Let me get it open. So you got one compartment. Then you got, eh, come on. You got a second compartment that's deep, like my whole entire hand goes in there. And then you have a third compartment in the back that's just as deep, like my whole hand goes in there. Perfect for if you're just running out to the grocery store or whatever and you don't want to like haul your whole big giant purse. Don't get me wrong, I love my purses. My bags, as we call them now. But sometimes I just don't want to schlep all that around. This thing is super cool. Again, you can strap it on you and it's to hold your water bottle. You know, like, let's say I want to put my coffee cup in there. Fits right in there. And I don't have to carry it. I can be like, not only is it cute, but look at me. I can have my coffee right at my hip. Hands are free, in case I want to do jazz fingers. Okay, but it's cute. And not only that, you can hook things on here and it has a little pocket. You can put your cards, your phone. This is a pocket here, plus this pocket. And the color is really cute. Told you guys, you find the stuff on Timu and you're like, where's the stuff been all my life? It's just absolutely amazing. I know summer's gone and over with, but you still, these are things you never know when you need them. A big giant carry tote cooler, soft cooler. Love. The color, love, love, love. How much stuff can you schlep around in there? Plenty. Folds up really nice and easy. Material, wipe it down. One, two, three. Amazing. So then I saw like this fancy schmancy one and I was like, hey, Stop scrolling and check that out. And I did. Let's show you how this one goes about. Again, it's big. You can fit a bunch of stuff in there. Zip it up. And it's got heavy duty carrying handles. Guess what I could use this for? Oh, 
I could pack all my little sandwiches I'm gonna make with all those sandwich cutters, pack them up in here and hit the streets. I'd have all kinds of spending money for Timo if I started selling them little sandwiches. And I had this to tote them in. It's huge. You never know. I may be on to something. Well, we've come to that time of the night where I've showed you everything I think we're going to look at for today. But I just want to let you guys know I have clothes. I have a couple other bags full of all kinds of goodies, shoes, and you're not gonna believe it, but I have wigs. And some more glasses. So I think the next haul, we're gonna do some wig try-ons and we're going to look at some of these clothes that I have bought. It's going to be pretty doggone exciting. So you're not going to want to miss that. Hopefully I'll be doing it maybe sometime tomorrow even. And upload it at some point of the day tomorrow. It'll be like, a, I don't know, what can we call it? Thanksgiving free for all. Like, stuff your face and then come and watch Jazz's crazy Timu haul because she's going to be trying on wigs. And we don't, I, it leaves me speechless. I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate anybody who takes the time to spend some of their day with me and watching my stuff. I just have fun doing it. It's all about having fun. When we do the wig try-ons, I'm going to show you some of the bags, purses. Talk about some things that I want to do as giveaways. And we're going to get into it a little bit. So until then, everybody have a wonderful, absolutely blessed Thanksgiving. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for spending some time with just little old me. Have a great night, and I will see you in a video soon. Bye.